To Buy a Succubus, Chapter 1, The Ring Lee West sat at his desk, bored out of his mind. He drummed his fingers on the counter as he scrolled through different websites on his computer, trying to find something to stave off his endless boredom. Sure, he should have been working, but sitting behind a desk for hours just brought him nothingness. The same story with the same plots. Lee sighed as he stared out at the pile of manuscripts. He desperately wished for something to break the monotony of his lackluster situation. Eventually, Lee somehow found himself on an auction site, scrolling down a page that read occult items, small trinkets that were up for auction, though it seemed like what he was looking at could have been better described as merely junk. Items claimed to be haunted, a creepy looking doll, a supposed ghost of a witch possessing it, a pendant that contained a nymph, so on and so forth. The various items seemed to go on endlessly as he explored the site before him. Most of it seemed like the usual thing, people trying to sell their junk and get as much profit, even if they had to do so by claiming they were cursed or haunted. It was absolute garbage, but it was much more interesting than the pile of slosh on his desk written by writers who couldn't write. Lee quickly refreshed the screen as he let out another sigh. He figured after this, he might head out to lunch and maybe grab a burger and probably get back to work and start making a dent on the pile on his desk. Hopefully, he could find something that would be worth showing off. Lee looked at the refreshed page and saw that a new ad had popped up. What's this? Lee thought aloud as he looked at the new ad. Succubus for sale. This caught Lee's attention. As curiosity fell over him while he mumbled, A succubus? That's new. He proceeded to click on the link opening up the full advert, and it was clear that it was trying to catch a person's attention. For sale, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, residing in this ring is a succubus. Never before has something like this ever been released into the public. Don't think this is all smoke and mirrors. This is very much real. Fold a knot for the faint of heart. This ring once belonged to a man of the cloth. He was the head of our town's church, being around for over 50 years. He died two months ago. When going through his stuff, I found a small box containing the ring. In his handwriting, he described how he had trapped the creature in the ring and kept it hidden away from the world. So now, I'm allowing you to buy this ring for yourself and the chance to experience pleasure beyond your wildest dreams. Buy it now for $1,000. Starting bid, $10. This caused Lee to raise his eyebrow as he looked at the page and found himself beyond curious as he looked over the picture of the ring. It showed a fairly old ring with a few carved images on it. From the angle of the photos, it looked like it had the Star of David on the outer edge scratched into it while on the inside, a cross was etched in. Compared to the rings he previously seen on eBay that supposedly contained ancient spirits, this one was different. This one seemed older, with a need for a good polish. It stood out because of the roughness of it. They usually always seemed to look flashy and cheap. Lee had to cover his mouth as he felt an urge to laugh. All right, this one looks like they put in more effort, but still, who would be stupid enough to go and fall for a stupid trick like that? He moved his cursor over, getting ready to close the screen, and just go pick up lunch. His finger was about to click on the tab's red X when he paused and stared at the ad again. Should I really bid on this? Would it even be worth it? I mean, it's my money, and this thing could be a terrible scam. Screw it. What's the worst that could happen? He moved the cursor over, putting a single bid down for 20 bucks. Besides, what would be the harm in making a bet like that? If he lost, he kept his money. And if he won, he could always post it back on the site, claiming it had a troll connected to it. <laughs> Sounds like a win to me. He laughed as he finished processing the bid. When everything was completed, he turned around, shutting his laptop. He reached over and grabbed one of the random manuscripts to give it a read over during lunch. Getting up, Lee took a couple of uneasy steps. A combination of an old injury and his leg falling asleep from all the sitting. Lee's stomach growled as he passed some cubicles. Turning the corner, Lee saw Beth. She was moving over her large piles of manuscripts, clearly smaller than his. Hey, Beth, I'm going to grab some lunch. Want something? Beth gave a smirk as he looked over. Beth was a pretty petite woman with a tied-up ponytail held up by a number two pencil and wearing black rimmed glasses. Beth's eyes were glued to the paper, examining every sentence, enamored by the prose. She flipped through the pages of her particular manuscript, 
Her interest remained on the book as she turned to the next 